G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring. Uh, I'm here with Tiff today and we're sitting in front of the caravan. We decided we'd do a bit of a video update for you on the van and then towards the end of the video we're going to show you a few mods um, that we're going to do to the van before our next big trip, which we're really excited about. So the reason we're going to do a bit of an update on the van is because um, we let on pretty early on in the piece that we were quite unhappy uh, with the van after before the first night's camping trip and the whole the thing flooded. There was a, a leak in the wall and the thing flooded on our driveway and we were pretty upset about it. Um, so people have been wanting to know how we're getting on since then. Yeah, we don't want to do a dedicated video on how <laughs> unhappy we've been and these no. are all the issues. And at the same time, we've not, you know, we haven't, we haven't been quiet because we've had anything to hide or because we wanted, you know, to keep you in suspense or surprise. It's just... But we're not into drama. Yeah. We're not very negative people and... Um, we just needed time to sort of get past it. all the issues and process it and move on with our lives and get it into a position where we are happy. And, yeah, it was a big investment for yeah. us. So there was a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. Anyway, we're in a good spot now. But um, uh, since what, what happened since then is... We had a, a number of small sort of minor issues with the van, like normal van stuff um, that the dealer uh, was really good about sorting out. Things yeah. like, um, uh, you know, like cabinetry latches broken, um, uh, a light switch is not working. The step had to be reinforced because it was flexing a lot when you walked into the van. Yeah, the washing machine was hose leaking. was leaking. This was some issues with the handbrake and yeah. like just minor things that we sort of expected. Yeah, and yeah. the dealer sorted all of those and we've got a, another list going already. Yeah, so we've got some cabinetry that's peeling. Trims coming off uh, and stuff like that. What else? Oh, we've got some water ingress in the in, uh, indicator. indicator lights and just stuff. like, yeah, I, it might sound like a lot, but we sort of feel like they're not major. Yeah, things. we're not stressed about any of that. Yeah. And, the, and the, as long as the dealer sorts stuff, we're pretty yeah. happy. Yeah, yep. Anyway, so we had those kind of issues and then other stuff that I sorted myself, like um, we had dust and water ingress in a few places. So I've run around with a silicon gun and sealed all the penetrations coming through the floor that weren't sealed at all. Yeah. That kind of stuff. I'm okay with that. It cost me like a $6 tube of silicon. So yeah. I'm not going to have a sook about that. But what's happened since then as well, um, the van went to off-road livering for a big 24-volt um, lithium battery build and they did an awesome yeah, job. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really good. Uh, but what was highlighted was they subcontract the work for uh, the inverter installed to a 240 volt electrician. And when he went to install the inverter and commission it, um, he, there were some difficulties basically. Yep. And um, he wasn't able to, to, to perform the work. So he gave us like an electrical report that we forwarded to uh, the dealer who forwarded it to Willow. Yeah. Um, they sort of came back and said, nah, it's sweet. Mm. Uh, we're not, you know, it doesn't, the van doesn't need rewiring or anything like that. Um, and then, so we went and got a second, third, fourth opinion. I ended up speaking to four licensed electricians, independent licensed electricians in WA. Yeah, we spoke to DMERS, which is the Department of uh, Mines in WA. They look after the energy electrical. Energy safety and yeah. that. Yeah. Um, what, Victorian Energy, energy Safety? Energy Safety Victoria, oh, Department of Transport. We spoke to the ACCC, Department of Transport. We've spoken to everyone. everyone. And <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we spoke to all these people that are professionals in the field. Uh, we ended up getting it rewired. At our own expense. <laughs> At our own expense. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. a huge thank you to Carl. From KNP Electrical. Yeah, he did a great job. He did a really good job, Carl. Rewiring our entire caravan for us, which is not an easy feat. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we won't like dive into. Yeah, because we're not experts nah, in, so in we this don't want field. To. Like, we're not electricians. We don't nah. know what the, you know, what the rules are. So we don't want to be too specific, but. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, w w I can, can tell you what was done. Yes. So it was, it, the van was wired in 1.5 mil. Yep. Um, and uh, that was all pulled out and the entire van has now been rewired in 2.5 mil flex. Yeah. With uh, 16 amp circuit breakers. So that was at our expense. Um, and that was something we didn't really expect that we would be doing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. And it was a, it was a bit of a confusing and I don't know. Stressful time. Stressful time. Getting a lot of different information from places and we just sort of wanted black or white where yeah. we stand. And it's difficult when there's, um, when you're dealing with, you know, vans manufactured in one state, but then you're trying to get work performed in another state yeah. and there's confusion yeah. between there shouldn't what, be. <laughs> what the rules and, and stuff are. So that was quite stressful. But anyway, um, it's been done now and uh, moving and then, on and from there. And the system's working really well now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you've seen, we're running the aircon off the batteries yeah. for ages. It's wicked. Yeah. 
So yeah, um, in a nutshell, right now, we're actually pretty happy with the van. Yeah, the weights are great, the layout's great. It's comfortable, It you said it tows really well. Yeah. Like it feels really stable. Yeah. Yeah. And with all the mods and stuff we've done, I think it's gonna, and you know, the work that we've had performed and that, yep. I think it's gonna be a good van for our family. So we've got no intentions of selling or anything. We're no. keeping it. We spent a lot of time and money getting it to a, a, where it a is. place where we're comfortable with it and we're happy. Yeah. But, but in saying all of that, it's been a stressful time for us. <laughs> I don't know. We're just going to leave it at that. We tried yeah. to cut all the emotion out of this. Moving on. Yeah. We are going to do some mods. We're going to, got a, we've got a stone stomper that we ordered that we're going to fit yep. for our, especially before we do our next big trip, lots of off-road travel. About a thousand k's of gravel we're going to do, yep. so we want to make sure that's sorted. We've got a SOG that we do need to fit still, but it, it still hasn't arrived. It's been on order for three months now. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Uh, it hasn't even been shipped and I've chased up the company about 30 times and I keep getting promised it's on its way soon. It's on its way soon. So one day when that arrives, that's like your filter for your chemical toilet. Yeah, to stop the smells. stink out. Yep. Uh, you've got, oh, you've got your, your awning. awning support cradle yep. and I've got a few things I want you to do inside. Just some towel hooks need to be screwed in and I want a new mirror and whatnot. All right. So we'll do that. Let's cut to that. Right, so we're actually back home now um, and Tiff's ducked off to the shops to get a mirror for in this bathroom area. While she's gone, she's tasked me with removing these stick-on hooks and putting some screw-in ones on because these just haven't been handling the, um, every time it gets hot in here, Oops, there's a proper way to take these off, I think. Every time it gets hot in here, the glue goes soft and these have just fallen off. Ooh, that hurt. Far out. So um, I picked up some different ones from Bunnings that are gonna screw in. Uh, I've gotta be aware of how thick this panel of wood is, so I've, I've got some shorter screws as well and we'll bang these on in the same place. Now that we've had the stick-on ones, we know this is where we want to hang the bath towels, but we just need some better hooks. So we'll get that done, and then Tip should be home with a new mirror, and I'll show you where we're gonna mount that and how we're gonna do it. Not using a drill in here, because this wood's quite soft. I want to do it by hand. That mistake again. That hurt. Oh yeah, look, we've got blood underneath the nail. That did hurt. Cool. Happy with that. And I'll do the same on the other side. I'll offset these slightly so the screws don't hit each other. So all they are, they come with two little bits like this that you screw to the wall. This body uh, clips on there. You can't see the silver screw heads or anything. All right, girls are back from okay, Ikea. Yeah. Tell them about the tower. The blanket? Yeah. I was just driving past the park and I thought, geez, that looks familiar. And, and then she was like, oh, that's mine. Yeah. No. This is something that only happens to us. Yeah, you can have one. Something that only happens to us. Every time we take Brody for a walk, he throws everything out of the pram. So we're often driving through our suburb and we're like, oh, that's our sock. <laughs> that's our beanie on the side of the road. And today it was uh, a hand knitted, I think it was a grandma blanket. So that was lucky. Whoa. <laughs> Let's get this out of here. Come on, let's get this. Oh, you're inside. not having another one, are you? You've already had five. IKEA biscuits. <laughs> Delicious. Half the pack's gone. She's had five. Oh, you're a terror. Let's go have a look at this stuff in the van. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. Oh, I never. Did you glue them down? No, I haven't glued them. I've just screwed them. No, 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 because you know the top thing. No, it seems to be okay. These are our new microfiber tea towels. So we've had the normal size bath towels for quite some time now, the four pack, and we had lots of requests for tea towels. So we thought, yeah, we never really had any intention. Why, yeah, why not? 
I love them now that I've got them. So, a set of four, we're only selling them in a four pack. So, exactly the same colours and design as the bath towels. Set of four for $45? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Tiff managed to get her, um, she's been to Ikea and she's, Hi. hello, and she's got a, a mirror. I've put permastick tape on it. That stuff's supposed to be good for like 20 kilos. That was from Bunnings. I've got to be crazy with that, hey? I just That's don't want to right. fall. You wouldn't believe how hard it was to find a mirror. Uh, I, Ikea's like 40 minutes from our house. So yeah. It was not, not somewhere I wanted to go. 24 but minutes. Especially on a weekend. Yeah, it's the only, and also while I was at Ikea, we got, I got this chopping board. It's got a lip on the end and I've seen people use it like this. Oh yeah, oh, yeah cool. Ooh, do not How do you reckon that's going to go like oh. on corrugations that's going to have to go on the bed, eh? If that's bouncing on the glass. I don't know. Oh, unless, you know what, well, can we put um, one of the tea towels or a dish, yeah, yeah like a tea towel underneath it while we're traveling? Uh, no guys. Yeah. No. We're not doing another 40 minutes to wake you up. He's smashing. I bought two, just in case one was. Yeah. So now he is smashing one, so then we might have to use oh. another. Yeah. Hopefully not. He thought, he thought it was a game because I kept taking away his hand All right. when he did it. Have you explained why we wanted a mirror? No, not really. Yeah, so we have a mirror already. But oh, well, there you go. This camera is at yeah. head height right now. So there's the mirror in front. Your The camera's at head height. You can't even see your body. No, I can see my chest and that's it. So it's a bit useless unless I'm like yeah. four then, foot tall. Yeah, so we were thinking you could stick one to the top of that, but then it's too high for Tiff. Yep. So we got another spot in mind. So we're going to stick it right there and then it's going to be perfect. I like that you're doing this so that when it's wrong. What do you reckon, like there? Yeah, but straight. Um, just go a little bit lower. <laughs> cool. That's good. The only other thing we've got going on is um, the caravans go on a DJM in Maddington. They're a caravan repairer and they service, um, well, they service our caravan. Um, and it's going to go there next week, I think, and they're going to put a new hatch in. So uh, I'll show you that in another video when they've done it. But basically, there was a hatch. There's a huge void underneath the, the bunk and the you could bed, yeah. yeah underneath the bunk bed and you could get a hatch there externally from factory but we didn't opt for it because we didn't think we'd need it and now we want it so it'll be really good for storing our camp chairs we don't really have a spot for camp chairs at the moment no nah. so. anyway i'll show you tip what i've done outside i've installed a couple of things externally as well want to have a look yep Come on. right so the stone stomp is on i've changed clothes we've changed locations we <laughs> couldn't do everything on the i think we've been down south at the folks block then we've been on our driveway and now we're at tiff's folks block we couldn't fit the car in front of the van on our driveway, so there's more room here at the in-laws. And so you can see the stone stompers on now. And that went pretty smoothly. Um, stone stomper gives you a heap of like things to measure to work out the width and the length and all the rest of it. A few different options for your hitches, so that was supposed to be the best one for me. And sometimes you see people have like that 20 mil PVC pole that goes over your drawer bars and into a couple of pockets to keep it up in the middle. But we opted for removing the mud flaps and fixing it to the um, to the stone guard there. So it, yeah, it'll come together quite good. Um, oh, the only thing I'd probably say, if you're gonna give it a crack yourself, it's all in the instructions anyway, instructions were quite good. But I G-clamped both of these on both sides first, just to make sure everything was gonna be tight enough before I drilled any holes or fixed anything. And it ended up working quite nicely. It's a little bit fiddly to put on and off, but it's going to be worth it mm. to protect the van. The only thing I've noticed driving, it was quite interesting because my camera's up here and it's pointing at the hitch there. And it was interesting seeing like the elastic uh, moving as you go around tight bends and stuff, that worked all right. But I did notice that where my camera's mounted, I can no longer see the, um, the hitch when I'm hitching up. So that's not going to affect other people, but it's affected our angle. Mm. So yeah, the, ho the whole purpose of this was, if you don't know, it's, you know, stones come spinning up from your back wheels and just spray the front of your van and our old van got peppered didn't it yeah yeah so we just wanted and we, like our old van had that rubber stuff there too we don't have any of that on this one no nah. yeah um did you mention as well that these are you you custom made to every single vehicle in yeah. the caravan yeah, so, so we we obviously have a new car coming but we're just hoping that it's going to fit <laughs> well that's an 1800 mil long bar and they do that or a, or a two meter or 2.1 meter i think it's two meter yeah. and i know that i've got mates with 
Actually, I should ask Kim why he's got an only 62. But I know my mate Craig runs an, uh, said that 1800 was a better fit for a 200 series, so it should be the same, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other thing we put, Tiff hasn't seen this yet, the Aussie Traveller um, awning support. So that was a bit of a disaster, actually. That didn't quite go right. Um, yeah, I, I've got a little bit of footage I share with um, with patrons. Oh, I've just f***ed up so bad, and I've had just to tear off to Bunnings. That's the one I had. That's shag now. I'm rushing because I don't want the silicon to walk. Christ is averted. But yeah, I had a few dramas with that. So actually I watched um, uh, Trip in a Van's video when he installed it and Justin mentioned that you needed some really long armed um, uh, riveter. And I probably should have heed that advice. So I was using a really cheap crappy one. And it just didn't do the job. Ended up breaking it halfway. Had to race to Bunnings to get parts. It was a nightmare. But anyway, that worked okay. Should I show you how it works, Tiff? You haven't seen it yet. I can actually see on this corner. It's a bit bent. <laughs> do you want to just step back and not zoom up too much? <laughs> Um, I'll show you how it works. You haven't seen yet, have you? These apparently these come standard with some vans, but it didn't with ours. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's pretty and, good. Yeah, that's it. So there's not supposed to be bugger or tension on that when I fixed it in place. Um, and you don't have to use that backing plate, but I decided to. Yeah. So that worked right. Anyway, what happened when we ordered this? They sent us two. Um, and they haven't asked for the other one back. So uh, I've got one of those to give away. So if you've got a van that could use that, um, it'll work on, should work on any sort of barrel awning. I think so. The longer the awning, the more important they are, I think. Yeah. It, can, on corrugations, they bounce and wobble and- What did I read? Anything over, was it 14 foot? Was it 14 or 16? Yeah, okay. Should apparently have one. Like yeah. it's just better. So Stop how, the flexing in the middle. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do? Just if you, if you, if you'd like one, uh, we'll pay for postage uh, to send it out to you. Yeah. Put a comment below uh, saying you'd love one yeah. and we'll send it to you yeah. if we pick you in a week's time. Yeah. All right, cool. And I'll pin the comment so that you know that someone's already won it. Yeah. Anyway, um, and then we've already shown you inside. Oh, I'm going to show you one more thing. I'd love your suggestions on what I should do with this. Can you hold this for me again? This is that, um, that vent tip. Probably the last thing I've got to do to dust proof this thing and protect it from um, off-road stuff is work out what to do with this hole. Uh, is that gonna show up on the camera? Okay. That is probably for, I mean, it must be for gas regs. So there, there is a lid here, but then there's a vent in the side there. Um, and it does say warning, this is for gas in. But, so this was how it came. And then that just goes, it's like a massive penetration. It did have some fly screen over it when we picked it up. Um, it was tech screwed in and it's just going to suck dust through this van. Maybe not with a caravan. Not yet. We haven't tried it yet, um, but not it did it did fill full of dust before we got the caravan. So I'm not allowed to completely block it. I'm looking for, I know Zone do like a, they have like a, a yacht out. fitting that it's like basically a big threaded um, plug that you screw in. Maybe something like that. Has anyone else got some sort of suggestion for what we could do with it? Otherwise I'd be interested to just try it as it is. Maybe, with the caravan. Maybe put some fly screen back on it to stop bugs and mice and whatnot. Yeah. Oh no, but they can't get in anyway. And yeah, try it with the caravan, see how we go. Yeah. If you've got any other suggestions, let us know. Um, should we leave that there? Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a weird video. Couple of little, couple of little things we've done um, to the van to get it ready for the next trip, which we're pretty excited about. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if the, if the video started off a little bit negative. Uh, we just want to sort of People have been asking and we just wanted to address it and then just move on. Mm, we're good now, we're happy. Yeah. 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 So yeah, alright, anyway. Cheers guys. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. See ya. Bye.